The program falls under an ambitious municipal plan over five years to provide light in informal areas such as Havana, Okahanja Park, and Ochoimisa to mention a few. So far, only Havana 1 and 2, several parts of Okahanja Park and Havana proper have since been connected to the national grid. City spokesperson Harold Akwenye, in an interview with NBC News, said plans are underway to provide electricity to an additional 1,000 sheikhs in One Nation, Babylon, Okahanja Park, Havana 3, Ochomisa Extension 6 and 7, and Kaitani Settlement. What Council wants at this point in time is for the dust to start raising. With the dust, I mean, uh, dust is actually a buzzword within Council. They want uh, people digging uh, for, to build houses. So what we're going to do, the, the strategy is basically, let's take an example of Okanja Park. We move as, uh, people living in a certain area will be moved, houses will be built, and then they'll be moved back. That's how it's going to work uh, going forward. So this is still uh, uh, one of these uh, strategies within Council. Uh, basically, we're hoping within the next year to see the dust in the informal settlement starting. That's uh, the northwest part of, of our town. So we, we want to bring the low-cost housing to our people. So uh, hopefully by beginning of the year, that the process will start. That would cost about $14 million, he says, and should be finalized by June next year. This brings the total shares to benefit during Phase 1 and 2 of the program to 2,200. The plan to provide electricity to informal areas started in May 2016, but has since been delayed for reasons yet to be known. However, 26-year-old student Hikila Johannes, a resident of Okahanja Park, raised concern with the timing of the initiative, fearing it is a mere ploy to garner votes. We voted for people to, to, to tell us that they need to bring water at home. They need to bring sanitation at home. But now, you see, when you enter in Vinduk, this is the place that what, which is exposed to the people who are coming in Vinduk. And then what, 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 what view are those people are going to have in their mind? This is the Vinduk that they are being talk, talking about. There's no changes. The official switching on for households, which benefited during the first phase, will take place on Thursday. Kaipa Herokanji, NBC News, Vinduk.